Oh, let's see. So next, I'm going to make knobs. You guys are going to go uh, polish your knobs or whatever. Once I get all my knobs made, I'll come back and show you the finished knobs. Can I say knobs many more? Anyway, I will get them all done, and then we're going to start on my articulated desk lamp. All right, so I've got my knobs done. I've got shop buddy number one, Boomer, out here. Number two, Yoda, he's running around somewhere. They decided to come out. It warmed up enough. So these are the lights that I'm going to use. They're USB powered. They're actually quite bright. So I'm going to wire both of them together, hopefully on the same switch. Hopefully they'll work, but i got my knobs done. I've got a nice chunk of oak that I'm going to use to make the lamp with. Really, you just woke up and you're tired already. Anyway, so that's the project. I'm going to set Boomer down, get stuff organized, have a drink, vape for a minute, and we'll get stuff going. The ball. Where's the ball? Alright, so where I'm at now, assuming you're still here, this is going to be the uh, clamp that goes on my desk. I've already gone in and measured it. I had to get my screw gun. And something should a leather pad so it doesn't mess up the desktop. This is going to be where the arm starts to connect. But that's where I'm at at the moment. So far it's all oak. I should have plenty left. I'm about to go split down the big piece I have to make the arms. So that's where I'm at. Just putting along. I'm going to try and uh, not have to go anywhere because I'm on quarantine, so can't go anywhere. Stupid virus. Alright, so it's been a little while and I thought, how can we overcomplicate this project? Simple. Let's add walnut. So, this is going to be the head portion of it. We're going to have walnut mount. Screw will go through here. I got spacers, I got a joint, and I'm going to have a little walnut on the side there, so yeah, why not overcomplicate it? So, it's been a few hours, I've been playing, getting stuff cut down, shaped, and yeah, just having a blast, enjoying my quarantine. Yay! Anyway, back to work. Date, I'm gluing up the headpiece. The LEDs are going to lay in here and uh, decided after looking at them I'm going to take them out of their housing. And there's just two little LED strips in each one and they will fit perfectly right into these slots here. So it's going to be a pretty easy build on that. Glue them down and rewire them so that they both come on with the same switch, and that's going to be nice and bright and stylish at that. So, back to work. By the way, when this posts, comment, let me know what you guys are doing. Because I know what I'm doing. I'm in isolation. Alright, so just an update. We got the headstock done. Pretty. Like I said, how can we overcomplicate it? Let's add walnut. And let's just not add walnut. Let's cut curves and make it all complicated. So, there's that. So, I've got the top and the bottom done. Now i got to get the middle. And i still got to figure out how I'm linking it all together with what I've got since I can't leave the house. Did I mention I'm on quarantine? Yeah. Makes things look... Oh, this looks like a land speeder. I just noticed that. My inner geek shining through. Alright, so, yeah. Little vape, chill out. Still there? Huh, hey. So, alright. Taking everything to the router. Got my parts laid out. Now, it's time to assemble the linkage. Hopefully. <coughs> so, Probably going to end up calling it a short day because I'm starting to feel like crap. No, don't go there. It's a long day, so we'll get this assembled. 
Might wait till tomorrow and do the actual wiring. We'll see. I don't know. Go either way. I'll play with my land speeder. Actually toying with the idea of, uh, you know, maybe making it a land speeder. May the fourth be with you. It's coming up. Wouldn't that be cool, huh? How can we overcomplicate things, Steven? <laughs> Just an update. That's a little linkage. Center parts. It's working. It's working. Yes, I'm losing my mind. It's getting a little hot out here. Florida being Florida. Started out nice and cool. Now it's hot. But it's working. I'm happy. Like I said, I'll probably go ahead and get the linkage done, go inside. I may come back out later tonight. We'll see. Never can tell. Check it out! He's got it clamped to the bench at the moment, but there it is. All it's left to do is put some lights in it. I may change out these uh, the brass bolts and stuff, tidy it up. And I still got to do the uh, clamp for the desk, but I'm liking it. It needs a finish. <clears throat> but all in all, I'm pleased. And I didn't have to go anywhere, didn't have to buy anything. Hashtag build at home. See, I can do it. And I'm not totally crazy yet. All right, so, yeah, I am calling it for a little while. Already packed up the shop. Just uh, run out of steam. Hell, it's already 3.30. I've been at it since 5.30, so yeah, I need a little break. Grab something to eat, chill out, clear the camera off, check emails and all that good stuff. And then uh, I'll get back out here and we'll finish this up. I'll probably need it tonight. Yeah, we'll see. I like it. Still toying with the idea of making it into a land speeder. Put a little banding around the front for that trim on it and everything. We'll see. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Peace. Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to another... Ass crack of dawn edition in the Idle Hands workshop. It's gonna be a short day today. Still feeling like crap, so I'm gonna wrap up the articulating lamp. Head inside. A little chilly out. We're supposed to have some bad weather, so I don't want to have the shop open up today. But when I go inside, maybe we'll do some work in there. Slice up some models for 3D printing. Uh, I'm gonna fire up the Da Vinci that. I fixed a little while ago, and I'm going to print some uh, respirator masks. Figure why not? Make one for myself, the, half the family. Maybe make some to give out. Who knows? But that's kind of the plan. Take it easy. Got a call from the doctors yesterday. Despite being on quarantine, I'm supposed to relax and take it easy. I don't know how. I can't. It's just not me. If I'm not doing 50 different things, I'm not happy. So, as it is right now, I'm standing here recording this. Got the Da Vinci warming up so I can clean the bed. I got 3D model slicing in the house. Can't do it. Can't relax. Don't know how. So, let me get things going here. Might turn the heat on. See where we can go. So, as I mentioned, getting this bed cleaned up so I could do some prints. After several prints, the aluminum that I put on here still just as fine. Seems to have worked. The glass is just, it hasn't even, I haven't had any problems with this so apparently my repair worked so anybody looking to upgrade or repair their Da Vinci just slap some aluminum over the top of it and be done with it. Easy, quick fix. Like I said, I think it cost me less than 10 bucks all said and done. A little bit of elbow grease and that was that. It's working just fine. Cleans up nice. All I did was use a little uh, soap and water to get the glue off. What I use on all my beds, glass, aluminum, whatever. So, yep. So now I'm going to fire this up, see if I can get some prints going while I work on the lamp. Like I said, got to keep doing stuff. 
Alright, so what I've done so far, trying to keep things quiet, and for heat, I've turned my halogens on instead of firing up the propane heater. Anyway, I took one of the uh, holes and I split it in half on the bandsaw. Then I took a Forstner bit in each side and made a cavity so that my bolt fits. And I just glue it back together. Now I've got my little swivel head that'll go in the base of the lamp. So it's coming along. Next I'll drill the hole and put the uh, whatever. I'm not even awake. Whatever those things are. Put that in there. Threaded insert. There we go. That'll go in there. And then I'll put a knob on it. We'll get it wired up. Put a finish on it. Well, maybe we'll put a finish on it. Then get it wired up. We'll see. I gotta wake up. It's morning. I hate mornings. So, I ended up having a slight flaw in my design plan that required me to take the bottom plate back off and basically redo this whole setup so that when I put the bottom knob on I also had to drill through into the bolt and put a pin so that ta-da! Now it works. This is I guess the problem with designing on the fly. You encounter problems and work through them as you go. Just, I don't know, makes it more challenging, I think. Depending on how you look at it, more fun. So, I'll get this put back together and then we'll work on wiring. Should be fun. Try not to get electrocuted. Alright, so, change of plans, and I won't be using these on this project. Interesting enough, these LEDs are fixed into an aluminum strip which is then like brazed onto the aluminum casing so it is not coming apart ever well I don't say ever I mean I'm sure I could destroy it which I've already tried but it's just not worth the effort I don't think I don't know, we'll see here. I might putter with it a few more. If not, I've got other LEDs I could use. I've got an LED strip in the house that I'd be able to change the color of. That could be neat. Might just go that route. I think we will. So, I'll get that. I'll be back. So, I'll be the first to admit my soldering skills leave much to be desired, but I've clipped the, wire, uh, the LED strips and run them to make my circuit. Use continuity checker. It works, so now all i got to do is plug it in. But I've got a piece of uh, Lexan I'm going to frost and put over, help diffuse it some. Other than that, I'm going to put a finish on this and we're going to take it in the house and be done for the day. So, I'll get a picture once we get inside. Probably not even in the camera, just my body or my mouth. I don't know. Anyway, that's that. I'll be back shortly. Alright, so, I've got it wired up. I ended up having to cut a section. I had a bad LED. cool thing about these is sure if you've ever messed with LEDs you know by now that in between the copper tabs you can cut so I was able to cut and go to the next tab doesn't really affect it at all so it works I'm happy with it I'm gonna put a natural Danish oil on here and then hit it with some uh, finishing wax and that's gonna be that I don't see the need to hit it with lacquer I've never been one for the shiny look I like the more natural so we'll get it done, get it together, get it in the house and fire it up. And that'll be that. I'm definitely calling it a day. It's cold, it's windy. It's just plain nasty and I feel like crap. Sorry guys, but got to take care of myself first. Hope you all do the same. So I'll get you a pic when I get inside the finished product. Uh, 3D printer, still going to print. About six hours to go. 
on the COVID-19 mask I'm working on. Uh, it's already got the, uh, this is the, it screws into the front. This is a uh, piece that helps hold the filter in place and it goes inside and then it's got the actual face piece and then there's some ear pieces you hold it together with rubber bands. And really all said and done, about eight hours you got a mask. Do it yourself at home if you got a 3D printer. Ask a friend if they've got a 3D printer. Do what you can. So that's where I'm at. Like I said, I'm going to wrap it up and go inside and get warm. Stay safe, y'all.